What made him stay so loyal to you? <sighs> I'm a good man. <laughs> <laughs> I put in a lot of work so that he could win. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So to look at you, what make the it seem like Dre keeps a loyalty to you, Sam Sneeze. Uh, what makes this, what make it seem like you are the guys that he, to me, locks into just being one that looks as a as a friend mm -hmm. what made him stay so loyal to you <sighs> i'm a good man <laughs> <laughs> i put in a lot of work so that he could win yeah yeah you know I mean? yeah even when i couldn't win yeah yeah i worked hard so they could win win yeah because i wanted them to win yeah. i wanted them to have it yes even when i couldn't have it come on now i wanted them to have that because i felt like they deserved it you know. So you gave it your all. I gave it everything I had, and he knew that. Oh, He's yeah. seen that. Oh yeah, and and I think that's that's something to be commend commended because a lot of people in your situation that went through what you went through could have just gave up, oh, yeah. wouldn't even moved like you moved. It had to be something in you at that time to keep you going. No matter if you look at the drugs, the alcohol, and all the other stuff that you was dealing with, it's still something in you that's a drive that say I'm gonna continue to. Press on with my mission. That's right. I'm that's being right. right. That's, that's exactly right. <laughs> and then the mission was be the greatest of all time. Yes. That was the mission. I'm not going to let losing my voice stop me from doing that. But, no matter what they say. But that was <clears> hard for you. I seen you come back on, on that album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, how hard was it you to do? You was on that Snoop album. And your, that's when I first heard your voice again. You remember that? Yeah, Serial Killer. Serial Killer. Now tell me, what's my name? Serial Killer. How hard was that to go back in? Or had you already been going back in trying to, you know, coach your voice into being able to be displayed again? Bro, I, I never stopped. You never stopped? Never stopped. I, I just made shit by myself, you know, wow. like just to do shit. Yeah. Write songs and... If they heard it and liked it, that they could have it, you know. Yeah. Um, I can remember now. There's a movie called A Beautiful Mind. Okay. You ever seen it? I movie? ain't seen it. Beautiful Mind. You seen it, man? Mm -hmm. A Beautiful Mind is this dude. He was crazy as hell. Uh, I think it was Russell Crowe's in that movie. But anyway, he he was suffering, and he thought he was cracking codes for the government. Right? Okay. But, but what, what what he saw on the floor and all these things was really just trash on wow. the floor. But in his mind, mind it was something else. <clears throat> so Bree came to L.A. MC Breed, R.I.P. Man, uh -huh. R.I.P. Breed, I was a big fan. He came to L.A. and, and to a party Dre was having. He came in in my room, and I was just you know loaded, and it was just. Rap songs, rap songs, all over the floor like a beautiful mind. Yeah. He picked it up and started rapping the thing and asked me what it was rap like. I rapped it to him. And he said, I'm taking that with me. And he said, you got to come with me. Wow. They're late. And I never went back. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.